Choose wisely Apple's latest iPhone 16 Pro Max versus Samsung's flagship of the year, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Out of these two devices, what gives you more value for your dollar? Who is the performance king? And which is better for productivity? But most importantly, which one would I recommend? First thing, as with any comparison, let's go ahead and start off with the design. Both have a very different design language and they might be the only two flagships these days that don't look identical. The S24 Ultra has a flat top and bottom with 90 degree edges and softer curved side rays that give the phone a very jaw-dropping nearly uninterrupted front display with squared off corners. The iPhone phone, on the other hand has flat sides everywhere and features a more soft corner radius with slight curves into the side rails which does help a lot in terms of comfort. Coming around to the display, it is marginally larger than the S24 Ultras at 6.86 inches versus 6.8 though in the hand it doesn't actually feel that way as Apple's Dynamic Island does still have a lot of presence on the 16 Pro Max. Now I will say that this is obviously subjective but in terms of comfort. The device that I find to be better for longer hours is the 16 Pro Max and that's mainly due to those curved side rails, especially if you are to use either of these phones. Without a case however, when it comes to consuming any sort of media, whether it be YouTube videos, playing games or multitasking. The display bezels on the iPhone are also thinner and in person they are shockingly thin and though this is not a big deal and is not a reason that I would personally purchase a phone it does even at times make the S24 Ultra still impressive impressive bezels look larger in comparison but before we move on though I just want to say thank you so much for the support you have been showing me recently on the channel a like and a sub goes a very long way in terms of the build quality both phones feel very premium in the hand both are using titanium in the side in weight with the iPhone being 226 grams versus 233 a difference that you won't really be able to make out the Galaxy S24 Ultra is using Corning Gorilla Glass Weakers 2 which i5 4 incredibly scratch resistant showing nowhere at all even in terms of micro scratches and the iPhone has ceramic shield gen 2 which is supposedly 50% stronger. At the end of the day both seem to be very durable and after owning the S24 Ultra for quite a while, now it's held up incredibly well. This really shouldn't be a deterrent for you to go with one or the other other. As I think both Samsung and Apple have been excelling with this in their latest flagships. Okay, let's talk about something a little more interesting now. The S24 Ultra's 1440p AMOLED display refreshes at 120Hz. It's tack sharp at 500 ppi and is absolutely stunning. It has a very high 2600p standard knees peak brightness and is simply one of the best displays I've seen. On a smartphone, the iPhone 16 Pro Max has a Super Retina XDR display with a 36 p It has a 36p resolution at 460pi and also refreshes between 100 however. The iPhone oddly enough actually undersells its brightness claiming 2000 nits with last year's 15 Pro Max so it was able to actually push beyond 2500 and despite the lower resolution and brightness. When it comes to the performance, both of these phones with their respective software iOS and Android one we seem very snappy and are really smooth however with the iPhone on, on Apple's latest iOS 18 there are some signs of some weird stuff going on there is a frustrating touch responsive this issue. That plagues a lot of applications and the overall fluidity and feeling of the actual device. Now this happened even prior to me putting on a screen protector. So before you guys roast me about that in the comments down below, that isn't the issue and even after updating to the beta it is still there so. I am kind of concerned at what the actual problem is and whether this is going to be fixed in a software update. Both of these devices are really impressive that the Galaxy S24 Ultra is using the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. It's a slightly overclocked better band version of the 8 Gen 3 specifically for the Samsung devices. It has 12 gigs of RAM and it's using the more efficient standard EFS 4.0 the iPhone 16 Pro Max 
now has Apple's latest and most powerful 3 nanometer A18 Pro. So with a very powerful CPU and support for incredible hardware ray tracing, the phone does only have 8 gigs of RAM. If you're an individual in business and you can see yourself benefiting from the capabilities of something like this pen, the S24 Ultra definitely seems like a good choice. Same thing with iPhone if you're a creative and make money on social media or want to get started with TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram, it's one of the best devices to do so in my honest opinion. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you stuck through it and did enjoy this one, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.